I'm Redbone. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm going to show you how to make southern fried alligator. Get out your frying pan and grab you some lard. Not no peanut oil, not none of that oil you buy in Walmart or any places like that. I don't care if you have a coffee can with some bacon drippings on it. Use that too. Get that grease up to 350 degrees. Now one of the most important questions is where can I get good alligator tenderloin? Well, I'll tell you what, over the years, I have gotten it from a farmland down in Louisiana. I think Louisiana puts out the best, best alligator there ever was. Time to go get it, okay? We're just reaching here and we're gonna get it right now. Ho! Oh, oh, good God, there you go. Woo! You're gonna love it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here is take this milk and I'm gonna take it, pour it in that bowl Get about three quarters of a cup in there. Don't get over three quarters, just three quarters, all right? We're gonna take three eggs. Go out back and pick them up, I don't know. Go down the store and buy them. Anyway, you take these three eggs and you'll crack them, put them in that milk. You stir that up, you get it going in there. Then we take our alligator tenderloin, okay? And you'll sit there and you'll put that in that milk and egg batter mixture. And then once you do that, you put it over into my flour, my flour base with the seasonings that I have in there. I'm gonna tell you a couple things in there. You got garlic salt, Johnny's salt, and you got some slap your mama in there. You can get slap your mama right down in Louisiana. I am telling you, it is to die for. Whoo! I'm telling you. You put that on there and you'll sit there and you'll go like that and you'll put it in there. Coat that baby up like it's winter time. Whoo! And then when you do that, put it over there on the platter, okay? Next thing, to the frying pan. While your mouth is watering, waiting for that alligator to get cooked up, I want to tell you something. I want you to know something. Here is red bone beef jerky. This is the only jerky in the world that you need a napkin to eat with. And to prove that, I'm gonna have Eric, my friend, my best bud come in here, and he hasn't tried this but I am gonna let him try it. I'm gonna tear open this pack, and I'm gonna let Eric reach in there, into this bag, and pull out some teriyaki. This is the teriyaki flavor. I got three, original, sweet and spicy, and the teriyaki. Mm. This is really good. How about that, dude? Grab you another piece of it. One's just not enough. You know, I've never uh, had beef jerky that I have to actually, you know, lick my fingers. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You have to rip that sleeve off if you eat any more of it, bud. Come on over here to the stove real quick. We're gonna see what this lard's doing right here. I'm gonna check it and make sure it's okay. Holy smoke, woo! It is ready, baby. It is ready. Now I'm gonna come over here and grab my alligator tenderloin, and we are gonna go to town, let me tell you. What you want to do is set this in there real easy because that old grease is all hot and bothered because it's been on there a while, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get these two pieces rocking and rolling, man. I can hear that gator crying. Woo -hoo -hoo. Two or three minutes is all it takes and then you're gone to the stairway to heaven. Once you get through making this terrific, absolutely fantastic meal, you want to serve it on fine china. That's correct, Chinese. Now that we got this gator all fried up, let's get him on the table here. Let's get him on some of this fine china. You just set that right like that, okay? Then we're gonna put some potato salad down through there and put some bacon on it. Have you a slice of lemon? Have these two onions, you gotta have onions with it. Then we'll put a little bell pepper, a couple of tomatoes on there, okay? And I've got my special guest, Eric Simmons, that's here with us today. Come on in, Eric. Have a seat. Yo, Doc, how you doing? All right, bro. I want you to sit there and take a taste of that southern fried alligator. Tell me what you think. You don't even need a, a knife to cut through this thing. That's good. That's good. That's got a lot of secret recipes in it, bud. Let me tell you. It's so tender. I just love this. I'd like to thank my special guest today, Eric Simmons, for dropping by and visiting how you like the food, bud. I love it. That's fantastic. And listen, next week, I just might be 
putting together some frog legs for you. I got a pond out back. That thing's making so much noise at night I can't sleep. So you just get prepared for next week. But I want to leave this with you. No matter how long your day is, how hard it is, how many things go wrong, go right, at the end of the day, come in and prepare yourself a great meal. Sit down and eat it, and all your problems will go away. Come back and see me next week. This is Red Bone. Mm -hmm.